In this video, I am gonna talk about the five things your listing agent that you're considering should be asking you. Yes, that's correct. Not you should be asking them, not you interviewing them. The questions they should ask you. Any good listing agent will ask you these questions. Are you ready? Let's make it happen. Okay, so the first thing I like to ask my sellers is, tell me your preferred method of contact. Um, there is no reason for me to be calling you when in today's, we have a mix of, um, a generational mix, let's call it. We still have some of the older school adults out there that only believe in phone calls. And I mean, like sometimes even a landline or even a cell phone. Um, and there are plenty of the newer generations that will correspond only via text and or email. Now, <clears throat> I kind of fall in that category. I'm not opposed to having phone calls, but it is not my preference to pick up the phone and call someone because nowadays everybody is so busy. Maybe everybody has always been so busy, but I just think it's kind of odd that if you're going through your busy day and the phone's blowing you up, um, whenever you have the opportunity to just send a text and say, hey, I'm looking for this number or I'm looking to have a phone call about this tile or something like that. So there are the older generation that are working their way out that are phone calls only. And, you know, as a listing agent, we have to be able to work with all different uh, levels. There is the text email person. And let me tell you now, phone callers, real estate transactions are done predominantly via email. So if you're only checking your email once a week, you want to check it once a day. I ask my sellers, if you don't check it that often, check it at least once a day. And then there are even some that are even younger below my age bracket that will um, only communicate sometimes through direct message. Um, there are some clients, some sellers I've represented that I have never had their phone number. Um, they would DM me, they find me on Instagram, DM me that they want me to list their house. They moved out already. They, got, they sent me the garage door keypad code so I can go in and take a look at the property to do a market analysis, do the market analysis, send it over to them, agree on a price, um, commission and all that, send the paperwork via DocuSign, they DocuSign it. We use the garage door keypad code, or maybe they gave me a key, uh, or left a key laying around, whatever, put it in the lockbox. Buyers, agents go and show the property, write an offer, we send the offer via DocuSign, um, and then the closing company will arrange it with the sellers out of state, out of town, out of country, to sign the documents for the closing ahead of time in front of a notary, and then, um, Voila, I've never had their mobile phone number. We've never texted, never had a phone call. So those are, um, that is one of the questions. That is question number one I like to ask my sellers is what is your preferred method of contact? And then I will dialogue a little further that you've got to be checking your emails. Question number two, your potential listing agent should be asking you is your experience on selling a home. I always ask, have you ever sold a home before? And if the answer is yes, I will ask how long ago because the way we market and, and even just by bullet point number one that I talked about, the way we facilitate a transaction has changed dramatically in the last couple weeks, months, years, decades. So if you haven't sold a home in the last 20 or 30 years, it's exponentially different than it used to be. Um, if you haven't sold a home and even in a year, the marketing is different, the communication is different, the paperwork is different. It's changing with the internet at a rapid pace. So bullet point number two is your agent should, potential agent should ask you if you, what your level of experience is. And then that'll help them dialogue and explain you the way they operate, the way they, they do business. Every listing agent does business differently. Some have teams, some are very hands-on, some are very techie, some are not very techie, etc. All right, so the third thing your potential listing agent should ask you is, what do you feel needs done to the home, a honeydew list, if you if you will, prior to going to market? And the reason for this is is I'll take myself for instance. Um, I'm very handy. I used to flip homes with my own two hands, which is kind of my worst enemy for my own home. Uh, for instance, I had you know I painted and I wanted to redo the baseboards and the door trim, and it's taken me about a year. And the market slowed down 
Uh, we're coming into our, we're in our fall market here in Pittsburgh, going into our winter market. And I finally come back a year later and I'm now uh, working on my own honeydew list. I'm nailing the baseboards down, caulking them and painting them. So um, I like to ask my sellers, give me a list of things you think need done. And sometimes what that'll do is that'll prompt you to kind of get back to that list if you've kind of uh, put it on the back burner. And sometimes uh, sellers will do both. They'll get back on the list or they'll just wait for me to come out and give them a honeydew list. Uh, and again, they'll maybe do both. They'll start working on it and wait for me or they'll just wait for me. And that's part of the, my first visit, uh, your realtor's first visit is to come out and kind of point things that buyers might have issue with or that you can do inexpensively to freshen the place up and make it more sellable, etc. So I always try to give a the smallest honeydew list possible with the most bang for the buck, if, if you will. Pick up dead trees, rake leaves, clean gutters, just minor stuff. Okay, bullet point number four are the five things. Well, before I do that, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure you click the bell on all notifications so you get delivered right to your app, your YouTube app, or your inbox that I have posted a new video. You don't wanna miss one. So number four is, what are a few things sellers you love about your home now when i ask this question it's going to be to help me paint a picture with a description of the property for the buyer so what i try to avoid getting as an answer from you are it has three bedrooms it has granite countertops it has air conditioning no 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 I want things that I can't see when I walk through the house, which means a buyer that is, is out of state, out of country, or even in, in town that may not uh, know the neighborhood would um, never know that you have to tell them. For instance, um, we are really close to all levels of schools in the school district. I just had this um, grade school, junior high and elementary. Now I understand they can Google that and find that out, but it's not something evident. So that would be something good to say. Um, if you go out of our front door down to the cul-de-sac and to the end of the cul-de-sac, there is a walking or jogging trail that you could even take your pets on that is about um, a half a mile long that pops out to baseball fields. Like something like that, that, you wouldn't even be able to Google it. It's a little trail. Um, the sun rises on our back deck and is beautiful and um, the temperature is bearable until about noon and then it crests over our house and hits the front of our house, giving us shade to, uh, in the evening to sip our wine. You know, we wanna paint a picture. So that is a very good question for your listing agent to ask you. And those are the kind of answers you wanna give. And guess what? If, you're, if you are out of market, out of my market, and you're not using me, and you should give that info to your listing agent, even if they don't ask for it. If you're in this market, you'll want to check out my listings. I do a fantastic job. I'm gonna speak for myself, and I'm gonna go on a limb. It's because of things like this. All right, enough about me. <clears throat> no, wait, is it enough about me? Yeah, okay, enough about me. Let's go to the last bullet point, bullet point number five. What is important to you, seller, sellers in a listing agent? Okay. Now I ship these questions over to my potential sellers um, ahead of time so they have time to think about it and answer them, but sometimes they don't have, they don't answer the survey I send over, they don't have time. So I'll ask them when I arrive as um, part of the listing appointment. And, it's, and this sometimes throws them off, but you know, what I'm looking for here is like, what is important? Is it um, social media presence? For, my, for your listing? Is it um, communication? Now I think I have a phrase or what are your top three things in a listing agent? But if you have five things, that's fine. If you have one thing, that's fine as well. But when you interview listing agent, there's gotta be something on your mind that you're looking for in that listing agent. And that's the question I'm asking. I wanna know what that is. Cause if I don't possess that, I'm going to possess that. Um, punctuality. Feedback. So for instance, I use a program called Showing Time, which will automatically email agents that have showed the property for feedback. And you know, I may not tell you that in our general conversation, but if I know that um, getting feedback is important to you, I will bring that up and kind of show that to you. Instead of trying to go over 30 different things I do, I'll just narrow down on the important things. Um, so those are some of the answers we um, I'm looking for. Communication, feedback, you know, social media presence, do you do video? I've, I've been asked, do you have a team? Will I communicate directly with you? Um, those are all good questions, uh, all good answers you should be giving your listing agent. And again, these five questions that I recommend your listing agent ask you, if they don't ask you these, you should just give them those answers whenever you interview them. All right, 
Uh, comment below what you think if you're checking this out on YouTube and social media. If you got it via email, hit the reply button. Give me your feedback. Love to hear it.